you need to have two or three twee words that you can speak, okay? Mine are Medase Obo, Bakoshuro, and Jesu Cristo. Depending on how easily you can blend in, something will be going for 50 Ghanaian cities, but because you are a foreigner, your rate will be 200 Ghanaian cities. Don't bring your American attitude to Ghana. This is Africa, my friend, okay? Things move at the pace that they move. You can't come and start telling people in America, Welcome to another episode of the vlog. My name is Ndiro Ganga. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for making time to be here. Once you subscribe, please write down below in the comment section, I subscribe, and I will respond to you and welcome you into the family because that's how we do it here. And I respond to all um, the comments that you guys shared. Now, in today's video, we want to discuss something very important. I mean, um, when you go online, you'll see videos of relocating to Ghana, I'm starting a new life, but I think they're very important things that people need to know before they make that important step. Think of this video as survival tips that you might need prior and when you move to Ghana. Number one is when you're getting your papers, get multiple entry visas. Don't get a single entry visa because that means that once you get in, you get out, you'll need to process your paperwork all over again. When you get multiple entries, then it means you can leave, you can come back, you can leave, you can come back. And that gives you that sort of ease to blend in, settle down when you need to make a quick trip home, you can do it. I know of a friend of mine who took a single uh, visa entry and then when they left, it became really difficult to come back because you have to start that whole process of processing your paperwork. So if you can get multiple entry visa, Point number two, I'd say um, when you're moving to Ghana, it's not the usual housing market where like in Nairobi, you can land today or any other place you can land today and tomorrow you get a house and you pay your monthly deposit and that's it. In Ghana, you sort of need a year of rent. And that's, I think that is something that you need to be prepared for when you're thinking about moving there. And also when you're thinking about moving, even before you think about rent, you really need to know what neighborhoods you're going to stay at, how you'll blend in, what is in there, like what amenities are in that community, is it close to the town center, is it close to what you want to do. So you really need to be able to know because Accra is really big, central, east, the greater Accra. So you really need to know where you want to stay. For example, I was telling a friend, I want to stay in Tema, and they were like, uh, you know, Tema is greater Accra. So as a journalist, it will be nearly impossible for you to do your work. So you really need to know the area that you're going to stay in. And also you need a year of rent or even two years. There's some landlords that take up to two years. So do your calculations and ensure you have that money. Number three, influencers, YouTubers, we show you the, the nice side of Ghana and you can't use that as the gospel truth to inform whether you move or not. I always say go to a country at least three, four, five, if you can even 10 times. Familiarize yourself with the place, know the place, know what works in that place, what doesn't. Can your children um, get an education there? Can is the healthcare good enough for you? The transport system, other sorts of infrastructure, the social life. You really need to be able to answer all these questions to be able to know if it's a place you want to relocate. Because I know for some people, education is not a compromisable thing. And then you get there and you're like, um, maybe the qualities are not as good as you'd wanted or healthcare. Because in certain countries, I mean, just everything just works smoothly. So you really also need to do that rec trip like five, six, seven times. So that you're extremely, extremely, extremely familiar with what you are getting yourself into. So you're not shocked, you know. It's sometimes it's very discouraging when you you've seen all the nice things on social media and then you land and then reality hits you. So I'd rather you go, reality hits you there and then you make the decision whether this is something you want to do or not. The other thing that you need in Ghana are friends and links. I am the one, the way you're 
it's your friends who will show you around it's your friends who will keep you company remember you're leaving your whole family and your life and whatever you knew whichever place you're leaving to go and set a new life in ghana and also your friends are your links let me tell you sometimes in some of these countries you really need links and not just in ghana in kenya in uganda in tanzania you need a guy who knows a guy you need your driver's license. You'll need a guy who knows a guy. You need your residency permit, probably fast tracking your work permit. You need something. You'll need a local who knows somebody. And also local sort of protect you from that uh, foreign rate, you know, like if you're going to the market alone and they see you're a foreigner, they'll charge you a premium. But if you're just um, going with a the local, then probably they know what price is fair enough and is not extortion so those links are really important if you're reaching out to people via social media if you have one or two friends there you really need to capitalize on that because they're your social what is it called they're your social wealth or social net worth and speaking of foreign rate and local rate that's something that you really need to prepare yourself for depending on how easily you can blend in something will be going for 50 Ghanaian cities but because you are a foreigner your rate will be 200 Ghanaian cities you really need to be aware and budget appropriately so please pack extra money because foreign rates apply not just in Ghana in any country that you will go even if you come to Kenya like in Nairobi there are rates that locals are given and there are rates that foreigners are given it is what it is just prep accordingly carry extra money so that we don't have issues when we're getting out there okay so that you know you know what you're getting yourself into another very important thing don't bring your american attitude to ghana this is africa my friend okay things move at the pace that they move you can't come and start telling people in america in south africa shut the fuck up you're in ghana okay you're in nairobi when you're coming here leave your attitude there come and blend it it's called shape up or sheep out the things that don't work the way you expected you you expect them to work and if you carry that mentality from america from jamaica from uk whatever you're coming from and bring it home then it's going to drive you really crazy but if you come with an open mind and you're willing to be flexible enough and adopt then it's going to make your work really 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 easy so you just need to have that mamba mentality okay if it's like struggling for a trotsky you struggle and you get in you're not like in the u.s we have the subway shut up you left it in new york here we fight for the trotsky okay and it's everywhere you go be be fluid be able to adapt and it's not just in ghana in any country that you go when you go to rome you do as the romans do you need to have two or three twi words that you can speak okay Mine are Medase Obo, Bako Shuro, and Jesu Cristo. You really need those words. They go a long way. Oh, and Vim, and Obar, and yeah, that's the most, <laughs> that's the most that I can do. That's the most that I can do. I mean, it, it really goes a long way when you can just tell somebody, Medase Obo, you know? They, it's like they feel seen they feel hard they feel like you you know them and you respect their culture you know my friends always laugh when i say bakoshuro they say i sound like a white woman yeah but it's just nice and it will help you a lot trust me it it really will because it also changes that perception of how people look at you how they perceive you they stop looking at you as a foreigner and probably one of them because they see at least you're putting in an effort all said and done ghana is a great place if you can do all these things you'll be able to enjoy it do your rec trip go see ghana for yourself be able to get a house have your one year or two year rent in advance get your paperwork right multiple entry visa and show you have friends there your social network carry extra money have local friends who'll shield, sh shield you rather from that uh, foreign rate have hands-on skills and most importantly know how to say medaseobo bakoshuro jesu christo okay guys that's all from the vlog today i hope you enjoy this vlog or you pick one or two things from this if there are any Ghanaians who are watching this vlog please tell us what are some of the things that most foreigners need to know before coming to ghana because 
sometimes you might just make that move blindly and then you come and settling down is really difficult because there's so many things that you didn't know or you didn't prepare for so the comment section is always open i reply to all my comments guys i promise i make time the moment i see a notification i always respond to it let's build a community and i'll see you in the next vlog